Hi everyone. This is Michelle Litwiller with Owl Star Stampers. It is Wednesday, May 11th, 2022, and I'm here for our weekly Facebook Live. So we will get started in just a second. If you are watching the replay or if you are over on YouTube, hello. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. All the good things. I appreciate it all. So, hi Stacy. Hello Carla. All right. So good to see your names. Hello Cynthia and Cookie and Mary Ellen and Kelly. Oh my gosh, I love seeing your names pop up. So tonight I have um, uh, some bottled happiness cards. And so we are going to be featuring that bundle tonight. And I'll be honest, it wasn't one that stuck out to me right away, but then my friend did a bunch of cards with it and I love this set. And so I'm so excited to make, I have three or four cards to make with you tonight. So we're gonna get uh, right in in just a second. Um, that it, The bundle we're using is in our new annual catalog. How do you guys love this catalog? I love it so much, so, so much. So hi everyone, thank you for sharing and for watching on this Wednesday evening. So good to be back on a Wednesday night. So, all right. Okay. <clears throat> if you uh, missed, um, last week on Saturday I went live and I made three cards for you. And I'm not sure where they're at. They might be over here. Let me see. We did... <clears throat> I'm looking to see if I can find the cards we made. Yep. We made the Sweet Little Songbird card. We made the Holy Smokes You're Amazing card. And we made this cute little tea card that says, Take Care of Yourself. Um, so these were the cards we made on Saturday. Um, Saturday afternoon. So if you missed that, it's over on my Facebook Live or it's below on my Facebook feed too. You can catch the replay there to see how we made these really cute cards. And then on Monday, I went live and I made some paper pumpkin alternatives. And so we made this card right here. We did some watercoloring. Isn't that so pretty, the background? And then here's the other version with the Knight of Navy. I posted pictures of these. So there's these cards right here. And then I used the butterfly and made this card with the watercoloring background too, with the heat embossing. Can you see that heat emboss? So I did that. And then now I'm here today. So I'm uh, definitely um, back to crafting. So I got some um, pretty good news with my follow-up from my surgery. My biopsy came back great, so that's a huge relief. And my doctor gave me um, a lot of answers on, as to kind of what was going on with me. So I go back in another month for yet another follow-up, and then I'll we'll know like a plan for sure. But I'm feeling better every day, and thank you so much. So many of you have sent me cards and messages and emails and um, I just appreciate that so much. So, um, you guys are awesome. I love you all. And, uh, all right, we're going to get crafting tonight. So, here is the stamp set we are going to be using. It's called Bottled Happiness. Now, if this um, isn't like one of your favorites, I'm telling you, stick with me and watch what we create because I kind of was the same way. And I'm going to sell you on this set so this set comes with a punch. Um, can you see the punch right there? It's like a vintage little, it's a bottle. It's really cool. And with this set, there's also these um, little domes. So do you remember the gumball card and the fishbowl card? The fishbowl card is behind me up there. We actually added real water to it. You could do the same with these. So we're gonna actually make a shaker card with this tonight. 
And then we're also going to be using these really pretty um, effervescent elements. I don't know if you can see those, but they, I was, when I turn the camera down, these are these little balls and they're two different sizes. And it's not gonna, the lighting isn't gonna pick up. Uh, they're really sparkly though. I'm gonna dump the whole thing, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, so anyway, we're gonna be using that as well. So I'm very excited and I can't wait to show you um, the three or four different cards we're gonna make with this set. So the sentiments say, let's get into the spirit, sending a little message, sending cheer, wine, not, and overflowing with happiness. And there's like some flowers, there's a, there's a short, fat, shorter, uh, wider bottle here. And then you can create like some labels and there's even a cork. I also made one with a little message in a bottle. So I'll show you that too at the end. All right, let's get stamping. If you want to do shopping, if you want to do any shopping, that is the new host code. And I also have a link for the host code. And my deal is uh, for the month of May is I um, am trying to hit my half million dollars in sales, 500,000. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm offering mystery boxes. So if you spend, it starts at $50, you will get a $30 package from me in the mail. And everybody is going to get a brand new package of these. These are these are $8 right there. So you can subtract $8 off your package because everyone's going to get these pretty little resin flowers. Or they're actually called Fun Flower Resin Shapes. And then the rest of the stuff will be mostly brand new retired stuff. So designer series paper, cardstock, stamp sets, um, ribbons, embellishments. It could be a card kit or a bag left over from a retreat or all kinds of stuff. And um, I showed like a sample. So it starts at 50. And then if you go to 100, your mystery box will be valued at 70. If you go to 150, your box will be valued at 100. And then uh, was it $300 order? You'll get a $200 box. So anyway, all that is on my email if you're in my email. So, okay, let me show you where the bundle is for tonight. All right. And it is up in the front here. Right here on page 16 is the bundle. And it's $37.75. So you get this really big stamp set and then the punch. And then up here are those domes and then the elements. So you can, um, if you get the bundle, you're going to want these two items as well. At least hopefully I'm going to show you. The stamp set alone is $23, but you guys, you know, you, the punches, you want the punches. You want the punch. Thank you for sharing, Carol. Okay, our first card is... Let's see, the shaker card. Let's do the shaker card first. Okay, and we are going to be using some new in colors too, because I am obsessed with the colors. I think they're so pretty and fun and perfect for summer. We're into summer, right? Yep. Okay, so this is called our Orchid Oasis, and this reminds me of a periwinkle. It actually reminds me of my bridesmaids dresses <laughs> when I got married a quite a long time ago. Um, that was like the in color that I wanted, a light pale, like a pale blue, kind of like pool party. And there was nothing because like periwinkle was like the color of choice. And so, um, so yeah. Okay, Janelle asked a great question. She said, do you still get mystery rewards to, do you still get host rewards for the mystery box over 150. So for the mystery boxes, you need to use the host code or the host code link. This is probably one of the only times that I do that, like um, for the mystery boxes in my buy one, get one free sale. Um, that's the only time you do not get host rewards. So um, because I'm giving away so much stuff. So, cause that's how I'm able to get your, um, I get some of uh, it helps me to get some of your brand new goodies too. So I hope that helps Janelle. So yes, still use the host code. Um, okay, so here's our card base, Orchid Oasis. And I went ahead and I cut the, um, this is from the In Color 
uh, designer series paper six by six stack and this is also the orchid oasis and I'll do the flower side up because in my first one I used um, the flip side so also while I'm putting this together there is a special to join Stampin' Up! because we do have these new in colors I keep talking about and you get the six by six stack of paper for free a pack of assorted cardstock for free and the five ink pads along with a pack of in color grid paper so you'll get all the new in color full size ink pads you can get the full stack of these in color papers this is just a sample of some of them but you get the whole pack this is a $12 value this is $36 you get the assortment of the cardstock so it comes like this like all the pretty colors are in there this is like nine something and then you get the grid paper total it's sixty six dollars and fifty cents you get free um, for the month of May if you want to join my team so I've had several people do that in the last few days and then um, anyway just let me know I just wanted to talk to you because I'm using some of the products in there okay our next thing we want is a scallop label which I just dropped my ink pad on right here so the starter kit and so you get all that for so you're gonna spend $99 but you're in tax you get free shipping and then you pick out 125 of anything you want and then you get all those in color things on top of that for free so it's like $125 worth of products plus the in color that in color bundle stuff for only $99 in your tax that is awesome. Okay, so here's our card base. Here is our label. This is from the Scalloped and Contour Dies, one of my favorites. And then I cut a piece of this wood grain paper. This is from that, it's in our mini book. I bet it was in your card club last month, um, a quarter pack, and it just has really great wood grain pieces. This is a one inch strip by whatever fits in here. <laughs> I forgot. So we are going to layer this down. I'm trying to think, how did I do this card? Yep, we're going to layer this down first. I just made the card today too, so I should remember. It wasn't that long ago. This is gonna be kind of like the table for our card. And then we're gonna take our punch. So the vintage bottle, and we're gonna open it up for your punches. You just slide with your thumb this, and it just opens it up. And then when you want to close it, you squeeze it shut, and then just close that. Okay, so then we're going to take this, and we're going to slide it in. And just, I'm making sure, I'm trying to make sure it's center, or even on each side. It's about the same on each side. That's really my goal. And then you're going to punch this out, okay? And there, that's what we have now. Now you can save this piece for another card. And then, now we're gonna do our stamping. So we're gonna stamp our flowers and then the greenery, and it lines up perfect. And I'm gonna be using the Orchid Oasis and Old Olive. So two, these two colors. And I need a block. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, you can tell I've been using the stamp set, the flowers here, hello. Uh, I see uh, several more of you hopped on. Hi. Okay, we're going to do the flowers first. I'm going to open up. I just did a video on how to label and open your your new ink pads. Uh, I just got to post it. It's like a really quick video, but I know that that's something that um, some of you, like. and also I have some new people finding me, so hopefully when that video goes live, that will be helpful for you guys. Okay, so I just inked up this image, which is the flowers, and I'm just doing it all in one color. And I'm going to position it so the top flower is just right at the top of this um, jar thing. So I'm going to stamp this just like that. Okay. And there we have it. So that's what it looks like. And then my chamois. I saw it. I saw it hiding under here. I'm going to clean this off. And 
get our green, right? We're still gonna use this for the word, so I'm gonna leave it open, but I'm gonna open up the green now, and we're gonna switch the stamp to the greenery, which is right here. And then you could take um, the Stampin' Right markers, not the blends, the Stampin' Right markers, and you could color these all different, like little different, there's little flowers on here too, so you could color those different colors if you wanted as well. Um, you can make this super fancy. Okay, so I have my green, and now um, I have to pull this down, but it will line up so that these fit perfectly um, in there. So I'm not gonna talk for a second so I can concentrate and try to line this up. Cause I was like, great, I'm gonna probably mess this up on camera. So let me see if I can do this. All right, I'm gonna just go, okay. And then stamp. Oh my gosh, I did it better than my first one. So there's that. Isn't that so cool? So with two stamps, you get this huge, beautiful bouquet. So I love that. And you could clear, I always say, you can do it in any color you want. You don't have to always do it the color I pick. Um, okay, so there's that. And now the fun part, the shaker dome. Okay, we're done with the green. So I'll close up the green. Okay. So the domes, you get 10 domes for $8. And they're just like any other dome that we've previously um, sold. So they come like this. And there's a sticker on the back and the front. So they're really cool. You could do so many different things with these. So you're gonna we're gonna grab one of these and then we're going to um, put the top on. Okay, so peel off the top so it's sticky. So this part just peels right off the top. And we're gonna flip this over and this just goes in there perfectly like that. Now I have um, this little piece here. So when I put my things in, I can see like how full it is. So I'll show you in a second. So this thing that we punched out, remember this was in there. Um, this will help you determine how full your shaker is. Now I also have this piece of white that is slightly bigger than my bottle that I can put it on the back to seal the bottle, seal the back up, you know, so. But before we go any further, I almost forgot what I did. I saw in the catalog they took a blend and they colored the inside of this to make it appear like there was water in there. So I tried it and it worked. So this is the dark balmy blue because I'm I'm gonna put these I'm gonna put the beads in here. These really gorgeous effervescent elements. Look at them. Look, I mean they're. They're really that sparkly in life as they're showing up on camera. They're so pretty. So to make them stand out even more, I'm going to take my brush end of my blend and I'm going to just color across and then all the way down. Sorry, I don't know why it's making that noise. It's like chalk nails on a chalkboard. And I'm going to make sure I'm doing this side. It did not do that earlier. I must be more aggressive with it right now. Oops, and I couldn't really tell that there was anything in there, but if you put your paper up, can you see there is a hint of blue in there? So then I just waited a second and I took my marker again and I can barely see where that line is and I just went over, I tried to go over it a second time anyway. So. This just is uh, something I thought was really cool. And so I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so now I can see the blue. There you go, see the blue? We have water. All right, so cool, right? So cool, I had to share that. 
And that was in the annual catalog up at the top where they had this these things. It just kind of showed it and I was like, hmm, what's that all about? Okay, now I'm going to pinch these little beads and fill them. Now you can fill as much or as little. Okay, there, do you see the sparkle? Okay, then you can take, well, you can take either thing. You can take this or your backing. Kind of just hold it over so it won't spill. And then um, hold it, just be careful. And you can see how full your dome is. Now I want more in it than that, so I'm gonna turn it over. And I'm gonna add more beads, or whatever these things are called. Elements, effervescent elements. All right, I'm gonna put my back on. Just, it's not sticky, I didn't pull the sticker off. But just so I could see, and they're almost to the line where I have the water, or they're like right at the line where I did the water. So I'm gonna put like three or four more little beads, that's it. Just a tiny bit more. You literally get, this weighs, this is heavy. There's 2,300 pieces in here approximately. So this, I was actually surprised at the weight of these little um, beads anyway, it was, they're heavy. Okay, now peel off the back. And see that it just peels off so easily. And now I'm going to, again, I just have a scrap of white and I'm just going to, this is sticky now around the edge. I'm going to put this cardstock over to seal it like so. And then there are my beads in there and they do shake like that so cool okay I am going to take my card now and we are going to add this to our front of our card Okay. Yes, I'm glad you thought that was a cool idea for the water. I thought it was too, and it's not my idea, but I was like, I'm sharing that because I would never think of that. And you could do that with any of them if you wanted, if you didn't want to use real water. Like, So I got lots of adhesive on the back. And now we're going to stick this down like so. And do you see the fun little shakers? So pretty. Okay, so now we're going to tie a bow, right? You have to have a bow. I have, I'm using the new metallic ribbon. This is, you can get these in all of our new in colors. And this is the Orchid Oasis, and it is called Metallic Woven Root. It's really light. Um, it's not bulky at all. And um, some of the colors take on, like, other, like, you could use this with probably any of our purples. Okay, made a bow. Cutting off the edge. And... I'm going to add the bow right there with a glue dot. And then we're going to stamp our words, which I almost forgot. So I'm putting the bow right on the dome right there. And the, the words I'm going to use are sending cheer right there. And I just have a small block here and a scrap of white. I'm using just the Orchid Oasis, just like that. And I'm just going to hand cut this out. Okay, let me know what you want to see me design with in the next few months. There's so many great stamp sets, bundles. Let me know what you want to see featured because I bought a lot of stuff, you guys. I was home 
because of I couldn't do anything like pretty much all last week. And so I just went shopping, stamping up shopping. And I have lots of stuff, but let me know what you want to, what you're like super excited for. That will help me out when I'm trying to plan my classes. So here we have this cute little sentiment sending cheer. And I'm just going to take a dimensional and pop this up. My dimensional is here. Okay. And we're going to put this, I just put it right over here on the side. And there we have it. There is our card. And here's the first one I did. So this one, I don't know if you can see, but my water is down a little bit. So the some of the beads go above it. This one, I tried to make sure that the water and beads were level. And then the difference is the background. So I use the two different backgrounds here, but other than that, it's the same. So let me know what you think. This would be a really fun special card for somebody with those beads in there. All right, so that's card number one. Okay, card number two is what? I already forgot what it is. Um, we're going to do, oh, this one right here. Okay. This is a card. We are using Melon Mambo Petal Pink. Okay, this is using a brand new embossing folder. It is called Cascading Ruffles. It's a 3D one. Got it right here. So it looks like this cascading ruffles and so I wanted to try out a new background so that is what this cool folder is um somebody uh, Deb asked is there a trick to sending cards like that in the mail um yes I would probably use a padded some type of padded envelope because um, you want would want to protect this. So it's going to cost money, but if you're making a special card like this, um, do not send it in a regular envelope because it will not arrive safely or it will get damaged. And they'll still charge you more. It just won't get there probably safely. So you can purchase at the store or on you know online um, padded envelopes in different sizes and you could put your card in there to send it. That's how I would do that. Okay, so the cascade, back to this. I just wanted to answer that before I forgot. The cascading um, embossing folder. And then this paper, this paper is so pretty. And it comes from this pack right here, which this is the Hues of Happiness 12 by 12 designer series paper. And it's so cool because... Each sheet is like, look at this. This sheet is like half pink and yellow, and then the other half is like purple, like purples and blues. And then the back is just like a rainbow of little crosses, like little X's. And then this one is like rows of colors, like a rainbow of flowers. And then the back is this, like this is so pretty. My friend actually... Um, framed this paper in her craft studio and then we have this one with again the rows of the colors of the flowers um, and then the back is this and then we have I just have to show you this paper because it's so pretty it's like I haven't seen anything like this just uh, very florally okay and then here's the back okay and then this one right here with the pinks and the yellows um and here's that sun prints i love that sweet i i thought somebody said um the something cottage rose or something i just ordered that too and then we have this one and the dies cut out like a lot of these flowers i just want to show you the paper there's the back is that all the paper? One, two, three, four. I think that's all the paper. So again, this is a six by or twelve by twelve stack, and that's where I got this piece of paper from. I got to have to show you guys all the new papers. Okay, so let's put this card together. This is a melon mambo card base, which I think I probably said that already. 
And look, I just got my nails done and they are an exact match to uh, polished pink. <laughs> I didn't even, I had no idea. I was like, I like that color pink. And then I came to my studio and I was like, it's exactly polished pink. Like it's exactly. <laughs> okay, so we have this and now we are going to layer our designer paper on here. So this, this polished pink was five and a quarter by four embossed. The designer paper is two by four. So we're going to add that down. And we're going to put this on. Oh no, I got some angry faces. Hopefully that is just an accident slip of the button, which sometimes that happens. Or maybe some, some one of you is really mad at me. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't make you upset. I'm looking for my ribbon. I like it when I see your hearts, but I see two angry faces. <laughs> okay, I have to open a brand new one of these. I've already gone through one. But this is the new, you know how we use that metallic ribbon on the other card? This is the one for the sweet sorbet. Now this definitely looks more pink than red. I mean, the ink pad looks pretty red but this ribbon looks pretty pink. So you can, like these metallic ribbons, you can use um, with, like I was saying, lots of different colors. But we're gonna take this and I'm going to tie a bow with this ribbon. And, oh, I see lots of hearts now. Thank you guys. <laughs> A lot of, I know how it is. Sometimes you'd accidentally like, you know, hit the wrong button and then I've noticed and I've freaked out like, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to like, like this post or I, so I totally get that. So hopefully that's all it is and not, I really made somebody mad. Making my card with the bottle. I'm having a really hard time tying this bow. I think I got it. I think it's just because I'm not used to having nails, even though they're super short. Okay, tied a bow with the pretty new ribbon. And again, these come in all five of the new colors. And then I'm going to just slide the ribbon down to the, the right side. So here's our ribbon. Now we can go ahead and put this down. We're just like zooming right along. Okay, so. I have this down here. All right, next up we have these. I have a circle that's about one and a half inch, melon mambo and uh, white. And they measure, because I'm not doing a tutorial on this, so I will tell you, the pink, the melon mambo is four and a quarter by one and three quarters. And then the white is gonna be four by one and a half. So those are your measurements. Um, oh, Wisteria Wishes, that looks beautiful too. Okay, so there's that and then we do need a scrap and let's stamp. Okay, I need Polished Pink and Melon Mambo and Daffodil Delight. So these are the colors I'm using based off of my designer series paper. So let's do the polished pink first, and we are going to be stamping this bottle right here, the full bottle, and make this up. Since this is photopolymer, I do suggest using your Stampin' Pierce mat. It's only $5, hopefully it's still $5, um, but it just gives you the cushion you need when stamping. Next card we're going to make is a slimline card, okay? So stay, stick around for that one too. Then you just stamp that, grab your punch, come in here, and we're going to punch out this bottle. This is going to help us with placement for, we're done with the polish pink. I'm so glad this one is still around for another year. Look at, I love, <laughs> I did not plan that, but I'm so happy. Okay, Daffodil Delight is next. And we are going to be using this little sprig here. So let me grab that. 
And what I did is I took my bottle and I flipped it over, which you can't see. Where's the one with the one with the paper? We'll use this one. So I put it there just to kind of so I knew where to position this. And I'm gonna ink up my sprig and I want the stem to be down. So I don't want um, you can't see that bottle. You can see the shadow of it right there. But that kind of just helped me to know where to position this. So before I stamp, I'm just sliding that out. And I'm going to stamp it once. Then I'm going to turn it. I'm not re-inking it, and I'm just going to stamp it a second time. So that gave me the light over there. And then I'm going to do this again. And on a scrap... I'm just going to stamp it off once and then add another one over there. So there I have two light ones in the background and the brighter one up front. Okay, we're done with that. Now we're going to stamp our sentiment, which I just wanted a little circle. And so I'm doing the one that says sending a little message. And I decided just to do that in Melon Mambo to carry over all the colors that we're using. So Melon Mambo and the circle. There we go. And now we are going to put the rest of the card together. Okay, so pull in all these. We're done with all the ink. All the pieces here. So layer, oh my gosh, look at what I just did. I got ink right there. It's all over my thumb from closing that. Let's see if, okay, that's going to cover it. Whew, that's good. But I do have a little sand eraser, so I am going to just try to. Rub a little bit of that off. That could have been. I could have just stamped the back, but okay, there you go. Now we're going to layer this on. Then we're going to take our bottle and pop that up, of course, with two dimensionals. One, two. Take these off. Hello, Nadine. Hi, Carol. Cheryl. Okay, put this down here. And then we're going to add this on the side of our card here. I'm not pressing very hard. Okay. Add this over here like this. And then our circle, we're going to pop this up. We have two dimensionals here. And then you could use those little effervescent dots, or I really, really like the iridescent rhinestones. I love these just because they're really easy. So I'm going to put a couple of these on the card. So there's that. So here's this card. What do you think of this one? This one I put dots, little sparkles down here too. So there's that card. Okay, so we did the shaker card. We did this one already. We did this one. Okay, now, oh, I'm glad you guys like it. We're going to do a slimline card next. Okay, and for this one... I'm going to be using the new in colors, so I might need more white paper. And let me see, we're going to be doing, I'm using a new die too, this one right here I'll show you. And it is, um, From it has little like little dots around it. It's not not stitching, but kind of. And it comes from 
the new dies called um, stylish shape dies. And so in here, there are circles and banners and squares, like there's several of these. And so they're different from our stitch shapes because they leave the stitching on the outside and on the inside. Um, so there's that, but that's where this banner comes from anyway that we're gonna be using. And then I have these pieces right here. So this is going to be our slimline card base. This is on thick white. So this does take almost a whole sheet of paper. It is um, eight and a half inches long by seven. And then on focus, on the seven inch side, you're going to score it at three and a half. So this is our card base. And then I went ahead and I cut the brand new parakeet party, this bright green. Um, Oh, that's okay. That's what I said. A lot of times um, I see Debs come in. It's just a total accident, so it's not a big deal at all. Um, I, Like I said, I know I've done that before too, so no worries. Um, so this piece measures eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. Let me just make sure I'm telling you right. Um, eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. And so then the white, so this is kind of the leftover from the card we are going to cut at eight by three. Yep, so you will use you will use that. So this is going to kind of layer together and go right on our cart. So we're gonna, let's just do that and then we'll do our stamping. And I'm gonna put this down. You could use any color in the background. I did another card Similar but different, I'll show you, using the Tahitian Tide, so the blue. So there's that, and then this is just going to go right on down to our card. And let me get this on. Okay, now we're going to go into our stamping. So I'm just going to, I just threw the thing over here my banner. I want this banner. And I want my banner. So we're going to be using um, this, this like outline here. And we're going to use, I think, this to fill them up. Okay. I got my shame here because we're going to go through all the colors and we're going to stamp like color on color. So we'll start with the green. We'll start with the lightest and then work our way up. So I have the green, parakeet party, and we are going to, okay, I almost got backwards. We're going to stamp this. Let's do the funky side because this, I don't know why this is all weird. Stamp this like this and then the little like filler we're going to stamp in. Um, I'm going to put it right in the bottom I think is how I want to do it, right? Is that how you do it? I guess we could just leave it like that. I don't, I don't even think we need this. Okay, we don't need this. I'm over complicating it. So we're done with the green, basically. Then we're going to take our punch and punch this out. So this gives you bottle number one. And next up, we're going to do the Tahitian Tide right here. So I'm going to grab this. Thank you, Karen. Karen, they're polished pink, which I didn't even plan, but they are the exact color of our polished pink. Okay, we're going to stamp this. I might have to cut this bottom off here. And then we're going to come in here and do this. I gotta cut a little bit more off. You could add that like filler, but I'm just gonna do the bottom. 
Okay, then we're going to go into the Orchid Oasis. And we're going to stamp this one. Okay, let me just show you. I made a card with the message in the bottle. Isn't that so cute with the shaker dome? So there's the dome. The bottle is in there. If you just tuned in, I did a shaker card with the effervescent be beads. But there's one with a message in a bottle. It's adorable. The set is so adorable. Okay, we're going to do this one. And then we're going to punch this one out. These jagged edges, I thought would slide in easier. It's not. Okay, so here's this. And then we just have two more. Let's do the Starry Sky. I don't want to stick my finger in the ink. And what did I just do with the stamp? Like, it's right here. <laughs> and um, again, the message in the bottle was like right in the catalog. So I just copied that catalog. There's so many great ideas in our catalog. So Starry Sky. I'm going to punch out this bottle. And then the last one is the Sweet Sorbet. Which I was hoping this color would be more pink. It's definitely more red, the ink, anyway. The ribbon is pink. So I like... I don't, it's, not, it's not that I don't like this color. I do. I just was hoping it would be more of a pinky. Because I love pinks and blues. Those are my favorite. Okay. Punch this out. There we go. We're done with that. So now we are going to um, take... I'm going to take... So my friend Jenny made a card similar to this. We did a demonstrator event um, a couple of weeks ago now, probably about two weeks ago, and she um, had our glimmer paper behind here, and it looked really, really cool. Um, I'm doing mine just a little bit different. So we are going to go with the red and these colors here. Okay, and on the banner, we're going to stamp our words. So see how we're putting, we're going to line up all these cool bottles. we got to space them out. On this, though, we're going to stamp our sentiment. And I'm going to do it, and I'm just going to do it in black because I don't know what color to pick. Okay, so here's this, and we're going to stamp overflowing with happiness. Overflowing. There's so many cute bottles here. Okay. Yay, Lynn says, you've sold me on um, this. And then Amy was like, come on, my friend. Now I want this set. I know, you guys. I'm telling you. I I didn't think I needed it either. But then I think we all need it. It's so cute. And there's so many cute things we can do with it. I'm still not done. And we still, I still have uh, more to show you. Okay, overflowing with happiness. It could have been a little bit more off over but we're just gonna be happy with how it looks right it's okay tell me it's okay <laughs> um now we are going to come in and I'm going to try to pop all these bottles up and evenly space them out which is really hard on Facebook live okay I want to hold the top of my card doesn't wants to pop open, so hopefully those will go. Okay, so what if they're not evenly spaced out? Is someone going to yell at me? Okay, I think that looks pretty good. We're just going to go with this. I'm going to take the middle one now and put two dimensionals and then take these off. You can totally, um, totally get your ruler out and perfectly space these out. My one friend, Suzanne, would definitely do that. Mickey, I don't know if you're watching, but her, 
my one friend, Suzanne, she is so um, good with using her ruler and getting things like perfect. Okay, there's that one. And sometimes opening the card and laying it down flat helps. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Karen, thank you. I should do that. I'm just too far committed into this one now. <laughs> Next time, I will hopefully remember that. Okay, two more of these. And the orchid. Okay, we got the orchid. And then we're going to take our starry sky. Did somebody say crushed hard candy would make your shaker bits? Yes! Great idea. You guys are, yes, for sure. And then we have this. Okay, there's our cute little bottles. And now I'm gonna take this and pop this up right there. So I'm gonna, it covers, we're gonna put one and one. Okay, I'm just gonna put these on here. See, two dimensionals. And we're gonna put this here. All right, now you could take um, the little effervescent little Duma Bobs. You can take our new in color matte dots, which is what I was gonna use, but I think I think like mine are all gone. Like, look at they're basically all gone. It's kind of sad. I'll use what I have. So these, if you're in Card Club, the deadline to register was yesterday. Um, if you really want to get, reach out to me, though. I might have ordered a few extra, but you'll get a whole package of these. I'm looking for my Take Your Pick tool. You guys, my desk is a mess. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. Okay. And then, I think this would be cute to have just some of these... Fun. We may as well just use the rest of these little dots up. Um, come off of here. Boom, boom, boom. And Karen forgot the dots. Uh-oh. Look at how fun that card is with the pretty colors. Um, so there's that. And it, this is a slimline card. And we do sell the envelopes. Just look in our envelopes. And they come like this. And there's white and gray and a green. So they come in a package like this. So we do sell envelopes for these. So here is this card, and then I made one using the glimmer paper. So if you do join Stampin' Up! or if you just buy all these products because they're awesome, there is 6x6 six six glimmer paper. Some of you might be getting some in your mail for, for ordering in April. Look at how pretty these are. So I punched out a bottle in each of the in-color glimmer paper, and it's kind of ombre, like it fades up. Okay, so I took these. And I made a slightly different card here using just punching out. And then those little beads are the shaker ones. And then I just hand cut out like the stamp, the size of this stamp and stamp that and use the ribbon. So kind of the same, a little bit different. This one has a blue background. So there's that one. So, all right, there's that. What time is it? Okay, I think we're gonna end it here. I do have it, I did have another card to make, but I will just do a separate video on that. But we have, let me show you what we have here. We have, cause I need this one too. Isn't that cute with the two bottles? It says wine not. And these are the little beads on there also. And then we have the message in a bottle. And these are also the little beads in here. 
So to get those to stick, I just use the liquid um, multi-purpose glue. Just put a little dabs on there to get those beads to stick. Um, so we made this card with the fun and color dots, the slim line, and then we did these ones. The little shaker card says um, sending cheer. So we have the two different versions. And then we have um, this card here. So I will have some more cards to show you after this weekend because um, I have two more uh, somewhere that I didn't grab. So I hope that you enjoyed the Facebook Live. If you want to order any of the stuff, I will put up my host code again. Here is the host code. And um, don't forget the mystery boxes. You have until Saturday to get your orders in using that code or my link. And um, hopefully we can reach the goal. And if not, there's always June. But um, we're on track to hit that. 500,000 in sales and then um, as a thank you I will send you those mystery boxes this was the bundle that we featured tonight this with the punch um, and then those shaker domes and shaker domes and the whatever let me grab this card so if you missed it I don't know when we have the gumball, you know, the gumball greetings. I did a YouTube or I did a Facebook live in a video and this has real water in it. So you can go back and watch that video and you could do the same with this, this, you could put water in here. This is real water and it's, it's still sealed. It hasn't evaporated. And so um, you could do the same here. So if you just hopped on, you can watch the replay, catch everything. And um, we made three really pretty cards with this bundle that, again, I w it, it didn't jump out at me at first, but I love this bundle now. I'm so happy I have it. So I wanted to share that with you tonight. Um, if you would like to join my team, if you have any trouble ordering, um, anything at all, let me know and I will be happy to um, help you. So have a great night, everyone. And I will see you, if not before, next Wednesday um, at 8 p.m. Thank you, everyone. Bye.